let's get this out there. Is it true that pineapple makes the VJJ taste good? Is it possible to have orga an orgasm through anal? I am very interested in the whole squirting aspect. I don't, I've never done that, so I want to know how can I get to that point? Hey, 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 it's Sean Vaughn, and welcome to My 40 Plus Life. Today, I am so excited to have this conversation about that increased libido we 40 plus women experience. And I am so here for this conversation because I have my friend and resident sex expert with me, Nurse Millie J. Welcome. Hello, everyone. So Nurse Millie J is my friend from way back. She is my go-to person for any sex-related questions. But she is actually a registered nurse, and she has an emphasis and focus on sexual health and mental health. So she is going to be able to give us a lot of information on those questions that I have and some of my viewers share with me. So I know we're so ready to get in this conversation, but before we do, a part of my shows is going to be a cocktail recipe because you know that satisfying myself in my 40s is all about having me a good drink in place. And so the drink that we are going to be making today is a pineapple whiskey lemonade. I know you know why I chose a pineapple whiskey lemonade. Yes, I do. Okay. So is it true? Let's just get this out there. Is it true that pineapple makes the JJ taste good? Well, I hate to hurt anybody's feelings, but not only pineapples, but a good balanced diet would keep your JJ tasting like it needs to taste. Okay. Well, that's what I want. I want a good taste of the JJ. So we're going to go ahead and let me tell you what you need for this drink. You are going to need four ounces of pineapple juice, one and a half ounces of lemonade. You can fresh squeeze your lemonade, make it yourself from scratch, or go to the store and get you some lemonade like I did. And then you're going to need two ounces of your favorite whiskey. And all you have to do is mix all of those together in your shaker, just like so. And now we're going to give it a good shake. All right. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, I was going to say shake the devil off. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> okay, once we give it a good shake, then you pour it over your glass of ice. And then you see I have it garnished for you with a nice pineapple. And voila. Oh, my God, it looks delicious. <laughs> So, so I can go ahead and taste it. Go ahead and taste it. Tell me what you think. And then I'm going to make me one. I don't know about making the JJ taste better, but it makes me feel good. Okay. It's delicious. <laughs> Great. So now as I make mine, I do want to go into the very first question that I have for you. Sure. Why in the heck has my libido increased so much in my 40 plus years? Well, it has a lot to do with the fact that you're 40 now and you're grown up now. <laughs> so, yes. you know, when we reach our 30s and 40s, we kind of lose those inhibitions. We become more self-aware of ourselves, we're sure of ourselves, and we know what we want. So, you know, all bullshit aside, you know, we kind of know what we like, know how we want to feel. We used to touching ourselves and know how we want to be touched. So, it makes sex so much better okay. because we're in a mental state that we can really enjoy sex now. So it has nothing to do with hormones or anything? I have a theory on that. Okay. Because uh, at a certain age, our estrogen levels do fall. For some women, it causes vaginal dryness and pain during sex and things like that. But for some of us, if we have a higher testosterone level, now this is my theory. I haven't just proved it yet. I think that testosterone level kind of kicks in, makes us just less tolerant of bullshit, and we know what we want. So, my libido is like off the roof. It's smoke coming out my lips. But, you know, and most of the people that I talk to, it's the same way. But it's also a mental state. Because at this point, you've explored sex. You know how you like to be touched. Your mind is clear. You've already established your family. You're not worrying about getting pregnant at this point. At least we hope. Hopefully, you know. <laughs> but, you know, some of those things are gone from sex. So sex is really mental for women. The more comfortable we get in our sex and sexuality, the more we are able to explore and enjoy sex and reach those orgasms that we all long to have. And speaking of that, so the ultimate goal, especially now for me, is to achieve that climax multiple times if it's possible. <laughs> Are there certain techniques?
techniques or positions that you need to do to help experience a, a greater orgasm. Okay, because I always say orgasms and sex to us is mental also. You need to be in a clear space. Don't be thinking about the bills and what the children are doing and all that. You have to clear your mind and be in the moment. That's what's going to make sex great. But if you want to have an orgasm, there are different types of orgasms. Okay. So you have your clitoral orgasms that's more explosive. But that's, that's coming when your clitoral uh, area is stimulated. But then you have your G-spot orgasms. They're, they're more common. But they're just as nice. <laughs> okay? You say they're more calming? They're calming. You know, it, it, you get really relaxed. And everything is cool. It's not like you're being electrocuted. Okay. You like know? The but I, I like them all. I like them all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about, is it possible to have arg an orgasm through anal? And I'm asking this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. There are so many nerve endings that goes around in your anus. And a lot of women, I'm not promoting anal play. But if that's what you like, there are orgasms that are to be had in that area. Okay. Also, for men, too, if I want to be frank. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you were saying that for to achieve that climax, that we just have to be in the moment. But does our partner need to do anything to help in achieving that climax? Of course. Okay, so they need to be in the moment with you. With like a G-spot orgasm, that's not something that's going to happen just very quickly. You have to be relaxed. So most men don't know how to find a G-spot, but if you're using your toys or something, I'm going to tell you how to find your own G-spot. So it's right up against maybe the front wall. So if a man was doing it, he would put his penis in about two inches. He would come hither, <laughs> and he would work right across it. Okay. And just set stimulation. So when we have the orgasm, what happens during the sexual response cycle when you're getting aroused and everything, blood is flowing. So the more relaxed and more blood flow by stimulation you can get there, kind of helps that orgasm come out. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this. One thing that helps me to really prepare for a good night is making sure that my spouse talks to me throughout the day and kind of gets me there before we are actually together. And that's what kind of helps to stimulate. Communication is always key. Okay, <laughs> because sex starts in the mind with us. Men are visual creatures, but women, we are all mental. Yes. Okay? okay, and so those nice little talks, a nice text message, hey, sexy, how you doing? That can always get me going. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you did say that toys will help in the process of achieving a good sexual orgasmic climax. In my experience, it does, because just as we are women of 40, there are men that we're dealing with that's 40. Okay, women, we can have sex on and on as long as we're lubricated. Men have a refractory period where they have to kind of recover. So if you're honest with your spouse and have communication, those are times where the blood flow is still going with you. You can use toys and different things to help you keep stimulated so you can have those multiple orgasms. Ooh, all women don't have multiple orgasms, and that's okay. It does not make you any less of a woman. Just like all women don't squirt, but it is possible. But the thing about it is, is comfort and communication. I would say some of uh, those are some of the key things that people need to have when they're having sex and want to enjoy sex in a special way. Okay, so you kind of touched on this as well. I am very interested in the whole squirting aspect. I don't, I've never done that. So I want to know, how can I get to that point? Now, I know you just said our women don't, but is it possible that I could do it? Okay, girls. <laughs> so I would say for your squirting, if you want to try to get yourself to that place or see if you're squirting or not. Now, it's not like a porn show where you're shooting things across the room. I That's what I want. <laughs> it doesn't always happen, okay? okay? So first of all, I would say make sure your bladder is empty, okay? Because the squirting actually comes from your urethra. So there's a little urine involved in there, okay? okay? Thin urine fluid. So there's a gland in there that starts to fill up with fluid during stimulation. So you're going to feel like you have to pee, but you got to know the difference between do I have to pee or not because you don't 
not into golden showers and this kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> but sometimes when you feel like you have to pee, what we do as a woman, if you don't know what that feeling is, you completely like shut it down or try not to pee. Then you're missing your squirting moment. Okay. Let it go. You let can do it this. go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> but that's if you get to that point. <laughs> and you know what? I was saying. There's this. no shame in not squirting. Because everybody don't have a big forceful squirt. It might just a little few drops, you know, comes out. So, you know, it's no right or wrong way to have sex. You just wanna be pleased yeah. and have pleasure. Okay, so I get all of that. That's fine. Now, I do want to tap into some of the questions that some of our uh, viewers did respond to okay. um, when I posted this on Instagram. I had one guy who said that he truly wanted to make sure that his wife had multiple orgasms. So are you suggesting that he incorporates the toys? He could incorporate the toys because sometimes he's just not physically able to keep going. Most people don't always climax at the same time, okay? So the goal here, if he wants his wife to continue to have orgasms, then he has to like keep her stimulated. Now, he shouldn't be afraid or mad that she doesn't have multiple orgasms because she may be satisfied with that one act mm -hmm. orgasm and she feels really good about it, okay? So I would say to this guy, don't feel defeated, you know? <laughs> I think you like that pineapple. Juice. I love okay. it. <laughs> so, um, I, I had a couple of females that talked about positions. So, they wanted to know the best position. So, w they're used to the missionary. They're used to the dog style. But is there another position that will help, I guess, a, a, a partner who is not as well endowed as, I guess, <laughs> to get to that, to, to make sure that he's stroking that G spot when they're actually having it? So, doggy style is one of the better positions. And also, a woman in a riding position, it can be a reverse cowboy or a mm -hmm. ride because then you're more in control of how deep he can go and how he can, you know, get the G spot because you can position yourself in different angles to make it happen. And also, you can get some clitoral stimulation going on mm -hmm. there, too. Okay. You know, and you're more in control. I like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> ride that guy, boy. Ride. Yeah. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> Man, I really need to stop asking these questions because the more I talk about it, the more this libido is decreasing, and I might have to go catch my husband real quick. <laughs> but, Nurse Millie J, thank you so much for joining me to answer some of these questions. I am going to have you back because I know that you have a line of toys that I, I know a lot of our 40-plus ladies might be interested in. I'm going to tell y'all my favorite when we have that show. So y'all got to make sure that y'all tune in. But thank you so much. Why don't you tell everybody about what you have going on with you before we close? Okay, so I do have a line of toys. My store is called Fetching Fetishes. So you can see me at FetchingFetishes.com. You can follow me on Fetching Fetishes on IG and Facebook. And I also, I have a book that's coming out. And it's called I'm a Grown Woman Now. And it is a pocket guide to sexual awakening and self-acceptance. Yay! I'm excited. I can't I wait to get too. that one. So Thank check you. me out. Check her out, y'all. And check out the pineapple whiskey lemonade. If you guys happen to make this, just leave a comment and let me know how you liked it, okay? It is good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. This is my 40-plus life. Until next time. <laughs>